everywhere felt like I should be somewhere else. I never chose to be in care. The courts have so much control over your life, making me move away from mum. There were always doctors and people just trying to get into my head, make sure I wasn't going to hurt myself. I'm 16. I'm old enough to know how to look after myself. Being in care around other kids did my head in. I needed space to breathe. I spent as much time away from the home as I could, just wondering. Said I was out seeing friends and there were no questions asked. Sometimes I just wanted to forget things and have a laugh. Being out, having new mates and a place to hang out really helped break the boredom. Jack didn't care where I'd come from. He was in care too and he had his own stuff to deal with. He seemed happy to have me with him. Being somewhere different with some vodka and tabs helped us escape. I was out pretty much every night. Sometimes I was back for care for you, sometimes I wasn't. The drugs helped block out the path. Being someone like me, living around here meant that there wasn't much point in thinking of the future. Hanging out in parks, you saw all kinds of people. Drugs went hard to get a hold of. Loads of people were dealing. There were dodgy people too. Getting involved in harder stuff, but I kept out of all that. I didn't worry about anyone hurting me. Well, almost anyone. My biggest danger lived inside me. One night, me and Jack were chilling in the park. The lads were smashing stuff for a laugh. Pretty standard behaviour from them. A policeman came and the lads did one. He asked us what was going on. We said we didn't know. He asked us if we'd been drinking. Here we go, I thought. He was going to take us back home, but he didn't. Instead, he talked to us for a while about stuff and told us to be careful and that there were dangerous people hanging about. Again, dangerous people. Why did everyone think that someone else was the danger? Jack had told me that sometimes he hurt himself. Only he understood what it was like. I'd had a real crap day. People were chatting at me all the time, saying I couldn't do whatever I wanted, saying that they knew I'd been to visit my mum. There were rules for a reason. Then there was the stuff in my head, telling me I was useless, telling me that there was no wonder my mum didn't love me. I went to the park. Jack wasn't there. He was reading his messages. He probably didn't have data, but Maybe it was more. He'd been talking really dark stuff about himself recently. The lads were there and I stayed out past it. So what? It wasn't like the carers really cared. I went off on my own. All I could think is that I needed to do something. Something to myself. My head was all over the place. I started letting the danger I was to myself take over. Something big to hurt myself this time something to make things feel better.